Ricardo makes his stop, and will he come out behind or ahead of his teammate Sebastian Vettel? There's Vettel just coming round the uh, second turn. Ricardo ahead of Sebastian Vettel then on the track. Ricardo is a lot closer to Sergio Perez coming out of that chicane. There are five laps to go, and there goes Daniel Ricardo on Sergio Perez. Moves up in a second place, goes onto the grass, almost gets hit by Perez. Vettel almost gets down the inside of Sergio Perez. Ricardo stays in second place. Here comes Daniel Ricardo on Nico Rosberg. Ricardo takes the lead in Canada. Unbelievable! The Red Bull driver moves into the lead of a race. Daniel Ricciardo becomes a new winner in Formula One. The team rush out to applaud him home. Mercedes fail. Red Bull pick up the pieces. You've won the Canadian Grand Prix. Well done, your first win. <laughs> wow. The man with the biggest smile in Formula One is going to have a grin as wide as the St. Lawrence Seaway this evening. The celebrations for Daniel Ricciardo are going to be absolutely massive. This is going to be crucial. Moves over to Doran Defend and fourth Ricardo the long way round once again. And it was the right move. But now Ricardo's got the inside line. And down in a turn three, Lewis Hamilton's brave defence of second place comes to an end. And Ricardo can he now chase after Alonso and take a second win of the season. Three laps to go then. We're on board with the man in second place. And he's now looking at Fernando Alonso, and down the inside goes Daniel Ricciardo. Alonso tries to fight, but he just hasn't got the traction out of turn two. And Ricciardo once more leads this Hungarian Grand Prix. Daniel Ricciardo now comes to take the checkered flag and win for a second time in Formula One. Daniel Ricciardo wins the Hungarian Grand Prix. <laughs> It is Danny Ricciardo, a winner again. There is Ricciardo on Alonso. Ricciardo getting into third place ahead of the Ferrari by the time they got to the Lecomte chicane. from the cleanest move into the chicane that we've seen in the race so far. What a Belgian Grand Prix this has been. Mercedes locked out the front row. Danny Ricciardo, though, is going to take the chequered flag. It's Red Bull's 50th win in Formula One. It's Ricciardo's third win in six races. He wins the Belgian Grand Prix. This time you led from the front. Different task, different pressure. What was it like? Yeah, de definitely a bit different. Um, you know, when you lead the race, it's a uh... I guess for, for that long, you know, it's more about composure and just, just looking at your lap times, just trying to be as consistent as possible. And I just had to try and keep, uh, keep the lap times up and uh, keep it clean. Hasn't won Daniel Ricciardo in Formula One since Belgium in 2014. And as he comes around the final corner now, Daniel Ricciardo sees the chequered flag and the win that he's been waiting for for over two years now. Ricciardo wins the Malaysia Grand Prix. Well done, Daniel. Fantastic. Fantastic. You deserve that. Well done. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, I need a drink. And for the fourth time in Formula One, Daniel Ricciardo stands on top of the podium. There goes Daniel Ricciardo on Carlos Sainz and the Sauber. So Marcus Ericsson goes down into 15th, Carlos Sainz now 14th, and Daniel Ricciardo's cleared two cars in the process of about 100 metres. Daniel Ricciardo's in that fight, and Nico Hülkenberg as well. And Massa's getting swallowed up by the pack, and down the inside goes Daniel Ricciardo. What a move from the Australian. He's picked up a couple of places in one corner. Baku will see him back on the top step of the podium. Daniel Ricciardo, he wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Honestly, I'm, I'm speechless. After the race on, on the cool down lap, I was kind of just giggling, giggling like a little schoolboy. So <laughs> you keep want going. some? No, 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 keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> Come on, gentlemen, you know, you're on, you're on the podium here in Azerbaijan. You can't refuse a drink from the winner. DRS yet, we've not done two more laps under the safety car. Here, goes, here goes Ricardo now, maybe he doesn't need DRS. He's got past Raikkonen, can he make it stick into the hairpin? There
here he goes again. Daniel Ricciardo, late breaking, gets past Kimi Raikkonen. Gaining down that back straight. Ricciardo goes for it from a long way back. This would be sensational if he makes it. And you know what? He has made it. Daniel Ricciardo came from absolutely nowhere. There's no stopping him at times. Daniel Ricciardo will one stage look well out of this race. This is close. He's much closer than he was to Hamilton. Well, he's got the slipstream. He's going, he's going, he's going. And Sebastian Vettel is gone. Daniel Ricciardo is up into second place. And that one was the easier move. Here no. we go. Bottas covers go. it off, but he can't cover it off totally. Ricciardo somehow finds a gap there to take the lead at the Chinese Grand Prix. Daniel Ricciardo retired from four of the last six races. He had a turbo failure in practice. He very nearly missed out on qualifying. He has made every single opportunity that's come his way today. Ricciardo wins the Chinese Grand Prix. <laughs> yes, boys. That is oh. Amazing job, mate. That was an absolutely clinical, clinical moves. Cutthroat. Scary. A nod and a roar of approval. Daniel Ricciardo, who keeps up a quite incredible record. Six wins in Formula One for the Australian, and every one of those wins from outside the top three on the grid. He is a man who makes things happen, and boy, did he make things happen out there this afternoon. He's never won from pole before. He's never won from the top three before. He had pole here in Monaco. Once upon a time, he had the win taken away from him through no fault of his own. Today in Monte Carlo, it's redemption day for Daniel Ricciardo. He wins the Monaco Grand Prix. Amazing. I don't know how you did that, Daniel. Incredible. Only tomorrow. Redemption. He stands on top of the halo. And that's an image I think you'll see in your morning papers as well. King of the world, well, King of Monaco for 78 laps today. It's lights out, away we go, and they weren't held for long. And Verstappen does get away well. Alongside him is Daniel Ricciardo, and Ricciardo is inching into the lead. Daniel Ricciardo will have the inside line here, ahead of Max Verstappen. Hamilton has gone away well too. It's Ricciardo into the first chicane, ahead of Verstappen. It is Ricciardo that leads. He left Red Bull, he went to Renault, he's gone to McLaren, he's going to get the victory now. It's McLaren and Ricciardo that win the Italian Grand Prix. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah! He won! But he did it! Yeah, boy! <laughs> Deep down, I knew this was uh, this was going to come. So thanks, thanks for uh, having my back, and for anyone who thought I left, I never left. Just moved aside for a while. What an Italian Grand Prix uh, it has been then. McLaren 1-2, Daniel Ricciardo has returned to the top step of the podium in a dramatic race here this afternoon.